Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are at Disney's Epcot Festival of the Arts. Stacy, there's something new with your ensemble today. Want to tell me a little bit about it? Yes, there is. I finally got a pair of ears, like a real pair of ears. Um, I never thought I would do the Minnie Mouse ears because I don't know. They just I see, it seemed like everyone had them, and in the beginning they were just the regular black and red ones. Right. And lately they've been coming out with all these cool colors and different styles, and I like the sequins, or as Travis would say, sequence. Sequence. <laughs> But um, I really, I think this is the Vanellope ears, which I don't care about Vanellope, but I just like the color combination of the pink and the aqua. It's really cute. So. But I thought you were going to wait for Flower and Garden to bring those out. I was going to wait, but I just wanted to wear a pair of ears today, so. I hear you. Yeah. Well, they look really cute. Thanks. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go around, see what kind of vegan options they have at the yeah. Festival of the Arts. One of my favorite festivals, so let's go check it out. Stacy, you did it! It did it! I What's, love it! What sound did it make? It says, I can show you the world. Limited edition magic bands for the win. Gotta check the pin board on the way in. We can wait, he says. There's a couple on there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see if you and I pick the same ones. What'd you get? I got this like Tinkerbell one. What did you see? That was it. I saw this one and like another one, but... That looks like a scrapper. I think it is. Bummer. Whatever, what are you gonna do? I took the risk. Headed over by Pin Central, which is not a pin store anymore. But they do have a lot of pin traders. Oh my gosh, let's check it out. Some really cool pins here. I like the pirate ones. I like this one right here. That one's pretty cool. Nothing here today for my collection, but a lot of cool pins out here. So it looks like the center where you used to be able to go through where the fountain was is closed off. Mouse Gears is shut down because they're doing refurbishments. So I don't know where the gift shop is. Do you? No. And Electric Umbrella is still open. I thought they were going to be closed. Don't forget when you're at Festival of the Arts to go get your pass holder magnet. It's like an Art Mickey watercolor magnet. We found Mouse Gears. Check. Test track is closed, by the way, but Mouse Gears is to the left. Just entered the new Mouse Gear store. Already spotted Stacy. She's just looking at t-shirts. What do you got? I do like it, but I feel like the material of the t-shirts just keeps getting thinner and thinner, and I can already see, like, pilling starting, and this is a brand new t-shirt. Like, I miss the old school t-shirts that they had at the Disney store. I mean, not even really old school, just like a couple years ago, before they switched over to this new style. I like that. This is like an old retro style Disney World. That's cool. That's cool. I like that for the you beach, like, for the pool. You like the tank tees. Travis doesn't like, I mean, I was going to say you don't like wearing black, but you're wearing black today. But you prefer colors. I prefer colors. Colorful it's a shirts. little cold out today, so I'm just trying to absorb some of that heat from the sun. <laughs> stay warm. This is a really cute hat. The Ariel, it says, I'm really a mermaid. I definitely don't need another lounge fly backpack, but I do like this print. It's pretty like pink, purple ombre with the white. I feel like I used to play with something like this when I was little, like you would scratch, the background would be black, and then you would use um, a pen to like carve designs into it. This reminds me of that. These sweatshirts look kind of vintage-y to me. This is the style of Mickey, and the sweatshirt itself, it's kind of big and boxy, but it's really soft, comfortable. And I like these colors, they have a lavender, like a soft blue, almost like a periwinkle. I found the, the ears for Travis. <laughs> these ones? Yep, those ones. These are big. I know. <laughs> Perfect. Those are cute. I don't really like the, fl the fake flower ones though, but they are cute. Ooh, look at this one. This print reminds me of the Mickey Mini shorts. This is cute. Not shorts like pants, shorts like the, the cartoon. Yeah. Cute. Little Mickey and Mini shorts. Yeah. You can have like a matching little outfit. 
that goes with it. Or a hoodie. Oh, you're so stylish, babe. Oh. Coordination. <laughs> so this is the temporary mouse gears. I mean, it's definitely not the same, but you know, it's good for now. Still not a fan of the black and brown. Just seems kind of blah. Meh. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Here's some of the festival merch. Got a little paint bucket. I think there's a t-shirt inside there. Probably with figment on it. The pass holder mug. Some ears, a spirit jersey, a coffee mug, t-shirt. These are cute. Figment color company. Hmm. Nice. A keychain. A little purse. That's fun. It says Figment Color Co. Oops. Ooh, I like the strap. We have some reusable straws. A tumbler. And a plush, a Figment plush. Ooh, I like this one. Travis, I like this one. I like it. Fireworks always hold a special place in our hearts. That's right. Sequins. Sequins. <laughs> I have a hard time with it, but anyway, super cute. I super said cute. for a kid, and Stacey said no, for an adult. I don't yeah. know. I, think I it's mean, it kind of is in the kid area, but it is. I think anyone could wear this. Look what I found! <laughs> the child t shirt. <laughs> Baby Yoda. I don't even like Star Wars, but I like Baby Yoda. Uh, let me get a correction in there. She doesn't not like Star Wars. She just hasn't seen Star Wars yet, so she doesn't know. You can't say that, Stacy. I have, and I don't. She saw like a half of one, and that's it. You gotta like watch them. You know, you gotta, you gotta give it a chance. No. I'll just stick with my Baby Yoda. Oh, more Baby Yoda merch, socks, phone cover. Baby Yoda spirit jersey? Yeah, girl. Oh my god! <laughs> Mandalorian. How much do these go for? Whew, 70 bucks. Sure is cute. It is cute. Oh, unknown species? <laughs> Got a mug and a tumbler. Stacy's headed over to get her pass holder magnet. <laughs> lost it. Had it, lost it, got it back. Yay. Yay. I like it. It's pretty sweet. It is pretty. Let me it, see. It looks kind it's, of like it's back to the regular size. They even have Valentine's Day stuff out. They have a cute little heart frame with the Mickey gloves. Some red Minnie Mouse ears and a Love is Magical ornament with Mickey and Minnie on it. That's really, really cute. Oh, and some chocolate. Of course, gotta have chocolate. Just off the gift shop, Mouse Gears at the new location. Did you hear yourself when you were talking? No. You're like on, on Winnie the Pooh, you know the gopher when he talks and he like whistles through his teeth? Yeah. You just did that. I did not. Because you did. I know that whistle. I don't do that. We're going to rewind right now and cut back to that clip. Just off the gift shop, Mouse Gears. The gift shop, Mouse Gears. Just off the gift shop, Mouse Gears. Daisy's out and about. Give him some high fives and hugs. So you bummed out that test track isn't open, Stace? Yeah. But you didn't pick test track today, did you? No, but when you asked me what fast passes I wanted, that yeah, was one of the options that I wanted. But then you said it wasn't on there, but I didn't know that meant it was closed. So what's your number two? Well, Soren's my number one. Gotcha. But Test Track is really fun, too. What about Frozen? Yeah, that's fun, too, but that's number three. Yeah, would you like those snow babies? I do like the snow babies. So the area that you usually walk over to World Showplace or your World Showcase, which one is it? World Showcase. World Showcase yes. is closed off now, so you have to come over towards the land, yep. the land and head to the left, this way, to get over to the World Showcase. That's right. Now. <laughs> the fountain shut down. They're doing construction on it, yeah. so you can't even get over there anymore. So before we start our Festival of the Arts Day, we're going to go on Soren real quick. So we just got done with Soren. It was a long wait. I know it was. It was like 20 minutes today, 25 With the minutes. Pass. With the fast pass. Oh well. It was so fun. when we headed out of there to the right, they have the butterfly wall. I didn't know that was there. I know. So cool. So cool. So Stacy and I got a couple pics. <laughs> We're gonna show you those real quick. Travis got the best one though. He got some God rays coming down on him. Little, little God rays <laughs> for my birthday. So Stacy and I are about to do the paint by number. What number you want to get? Four. Let's see what happens. Pick a color that speaks to you, Stacy. Thank you. Okay. Hi guys, how Hi. you doing? doing Welcome good. to Festival what, of the Arts. What color do you got for me today? How about a nice seven? Let's do a seven. Nice Thank yellow. you, sir. How many squares do you paint? Six. Excuse me? How many? Six, six. squares? Six squares, Okay. Please. None on your clothing. Right. I'm going to do low, so... Stacey's going in. Her number twos, 
Six squares. I'm gonna go for a line. All right. <laughs> there you go. You're doing a great job. Doing sevens today. Nice little yellow, almost like my power line t-shirt. But let's not get it on your power line t-shirt. Yes, let's not. Fun fact, when I was a kid, there was a coloring contest. I must have been about three. Oh, sorry. And you had to color like a Sesame Street picture. Wait a Oscar second. Oscar Grouch, Hat, Big Bird, and then, it, and then you entered a contest. And if you won, you got to see, I think it was Sesame Street on Ice. Guess who won? Me. Don't even tell me that right now. It's Guess true. who else entered a coloring contest? <laughs> Don't even tell me, Stacy. but go ahead. So do you guys remember when Publix would have coloring contests? Did you ever do that? No. Publix? When I was Before little. my time. No, after. I'm younger than you. Yeah, it was before my time because you were born after, after me. After your time. After my time. <laughs> Anyways, Publix used to have coloring contests and I feel like it was like a gator. Like that was the, it was one coloring page and you had to color it. And I mean, I don't know how many people actually entered it, but I always entered it. Okay. They, I don't know, I must have entered like, I don't know, 10 of those coloring contests and I won once. And I feel like, I can't remember what it was, but I feel like it was some type of dessert we won, like something from the bakery. But I won something. All right, let's get back to the real story, okay? I Travis, won. Right, great job, babe. <laughs> Travis, she's trying to steal my thunder right now. Travis, three years old, Sesame Street picture, put it in a contest. It must have been a national contest. Uh, I won, best colorer for a three-year-old. Got to see Sesame Street on ice. They had a limo for us. It was legit. Really? Yeah. How did I not know that? Because I'm a phenomenal colorer. Drawer, not so good. I've colorer, never seen you color anything. awesome. Wait, let me ask you. You just saw me color that. No, that was painting. Okay, well. well it's very important. When you color. Yes. No, first of all, what do you color with? Do you prefer crayons or colored pencils? Well, for that contest, it was crayons, but I prefer colored pencils. Me too. Okay. Second, do you, when you're using crayons or colored pencils, do you outline it first and then color in, or do you just color as you go? I just color as I go. No, wrong answer. Okay, well, that's how I did it, and that's how I won, so. Well, I won with my way too. So. Okay, I had Sesame Street on ice. Anyways. I had dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, we're together for 13 years, never knew that about you. Yeah. Always learn something new. Cool. All right, off to the next stop. This is what we just helped to paint. I wonder if we'll get to see it when it's done. You think it'll still be up? How long do you think it'll take? A couple days? Yeah, I think a couple days. Cool. I mean, I like it, but I like the ones they did last year better with pigment, don't you? Yeah, those ones are fun. But I think yeah. they change the design every time. I don't think that's the same one they're going to do for every one. Oh, okay. So now we're headed over to our first stop for the Festival of the Arts. Really, any Epcot day. Yeah. Can you guess where we're going? If you guessed our first stop was Trozo de Margarita, you are correct. That's the first thing that Stacey and I always do, is grab a frozen Fiesta Margarita. I'm not going to forget you this time. Make sure I get you a margarita first. Oh, thanks, babe. You're welcome. So thoughtful of you. I know. So chivalrous. <laughs> what do you think, Stace? Anyone? It's so good. I always drink it too fast right away because it's so good and I get myself a brain freeze every time. I can already feel it. It starts here and then it works its way up. Just frozen from the, the waist up. Yeah. And I like that they have paper straws out. Yeah. Ow, I feel it. Stacey's got a brain freeze. <laughs> it's going away, it's going away. She's back. I'm back. Where do you want to go, Stacey? To our secret spot. I love it over here. I know one of these days when we go over to our secret spot, someone's going to be here that knows us and we're going to drink margaritas together. I can't wait for that day. So we're going over to the beginning where the chalk art is and we usually make our way around to the UK and Canada and then come around. But we stopped and got our margarita and I kind of peeked over at the Odyssey Center to see what was going on because that's always where the cider flights are. They got another cider flight. I'm pumped. I'm excited about it. So they have these really cool chalk arts where you can take a photo, take a picture. Really neat. So we're going to go check out some of this 3D chalk art. What do you think of the chalk art? It was really good. I liked it. I wanted to show you the picture that you took of me. Look how cool! I like the interactive ones. Super cute, yeah. It's like a 3D. Yeah. It's like uh. I'm holding that wave back. Alright, Moana. <laughs> 
So we're going to head over here to these little shops, check out what they have. Where are we going first, Stacy? A candle store? Stacy loves it when the gardenia is blue on our house every year. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. Stacy, we're going to one of your favorite stores, Thomas Kincaid. I know, the Little Mermaid one's pretty sweet. Interesting. I know, Fort Wilderness. Great resort to stay at. That one's fun. I swear, like, all of Thomas Kincaid's are, like, amazing. All of them. For Christmas, um, Travis got me tickets, or got us tickets to go see Aladdin. And he got the puzzle. It looks just like this, and he put the tickets in the puzzle. So. What kind of puzzle is it? The Thomas Kincaid. Duh. Stacy wants me to guess how much I think these are. I'm going to go 65. I'm going to guess it. 50! Oh, yeah. So you guessed right. I was a little over. I just love all the Thomas Kincaid paintings. They're so detailed, they're so amazing. Hopefully, one day I'll be able to own one. That'd be awesome, but they're really expensive. But they're amazing, they're worth it. Stacy, guess what time it is? Golden hour. It's coming into that golden hour. Best time for pictures, get those god rays coming on ya. So if you got the god rays earlier with your butterfly picture. I did. Just shining down on you. Shining on me. Here's some more of the festival merchandise for the Festival of the Arts. Which one does Stacy like the best? Mmm. I'm gonna go with this one, the mini hoodie. It's actually a tie between the tie-dye, because I like tie-dye, and Mickey and Minnie, because it's always cuter when they're together. I failed. Is this new or has this always been here? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Love London. So we're headed over to France. We haven't found any vegan treats yet, but hopefully we'll find something soon. I swear that golden hour makes everything look so amazing. Look at that, that shot. Gondola moving really slow, or is it just me? You and these gondolas. It's moving really slow, like inching along. Well, it's better than not moving. Which is exactly what happened last time we were here. I don't oh, know, man. I'm gonna get you on those gondolas soon enough. I ever took. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen here. That's when, it must have been at least five or six years ago, when they had the, it was Aurora and her prince, whatever his prince name Philip. is. Prince Philip. Prince Philip dancing, the topiary, and it was underneath the pink flowers, and the flowers were blooming, and they were falling all around them. It was so beautiful. It was magical. It was amazing. And they, since then, they haven't put Aurora back in that same spot. I don't know why. It's the best one. But, yeah, if I can find that picture, I'll put it up, because it was great. Oh, what's going on now, Stacy? Gondolas in full swing. They're moving now. Let's go check this booth out. Thanks, Stacy. How about that haunted mansion, huh? It's pretty crazy. Goofy? Underwater? It's like 20,000 leagues under the sea. It's called Deep Down Greed, and there's five hidden Mickeys in it. Stacy, there's five hidden Mickeys in this. There is? Yeah. I want you to try and find one. I already see one. One. Boom. Two. Two. Right there. Uh, three. Oh, four. Look at his bootstrap. Oh, yeah. Four. One more. So Stacy and I can't find the fifth hidden Mickey. Do you see it? Do you guys see it? If you do, leave a comment down below. Tell us where it is. Let us know. It's pretty cool. This like 3D like, know, Ursula. Thousand dollars though. The Hunchback Ooh. of Notre Dame. It's that size. This one's really cool. It's got Goofy and Max and Pete. Goof Troop, one of my favorites. Wow. A couple more of these 3D prints. Got Bell, Jafar, Evil Queen, and Cinderella. Babe, you were like mesmerized by the spinning art. I know, because it was a spin art experience. I was taking in the experience. I don't How know. was it? Oh, I didn't get to see the finished product. You were over there for like five minutes. I know. I thought it was cool. Just like pedaling. Da, 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 da. Like Yago when he's trying to get the ring. He's like, who is the, not the chosen one, who is the diamond in the rough? He's pedaling, pedaling, they put the ring in. So these are what they look like when they're finished. That's cool. I didn't even see that right away. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Oh look, this is Jasmine's hair right here with the flower. Oh wow. Dude, I like the portraits of Jack and Sally. It's really cool. They look like real portrait shots. It's like they're really close for them. You can use the portrait mode on the phone. 
So there's only two vegan options at the Festival of the Arts this year. One of them is the vegetable goiza, and that's in Japan. It's vegetable and adamame filled goiza, which are like dumplings, but you have to order them without the mashed potatoes, so let's go try it. This is the vegetable, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but goiza, they're dumplings. And you just order it without the mashed potatoes, so it's vegan. And I think it usually comes with two dumplings, but she gave us a third one. I didn't ask for you know, a substitute instead of the mashed potatoes, but I think she gave us an extra one instead. So that was nice. Um, and it looks like um, two types of mushrooms, or one big mushroom cut in half. So that looks pretty good. That's delicious. I love dumplings. There's vegetable filling. Very good. There's a little bit of a sauce down there. I'm not sure what the sauce is. I forget what the sign said, but really good. I like it. Because <laughs> I'm authentic. I don't know how to use chopsticks. I'm just going to give it my best shot. All right, so what do we got here? This looks like a mushroom to me. Yeah, one's a mushroom. And this is a dumpling. Yep. Okay, I'm going to have the whole thing in one bite. Of course you are. I wouldn't expect anything less. Get it in there. I like the dumpling. It's pretty mm. good. I mean, it's not my favorite dumpling I ever had. The sauce is okay. Um, it's got a good crunch to it. It has like it's nice and crispy on the outside. Mm. So I would definitely good. get this again. The dumpling for me, it's just okay. Why? I like the mushroom. I like the sauce. All right, I'll have the last one. So then. you can have the last dumpling, but yeah. would I get it again? For me, probably not. Really? Really. I would definitely get this again. I liked it a lot. I don't know which one. I thought that was really good. I love dumplings. Dumplings are one of my favorites, actually. Just foods in general. Um, they were a little bit crisp. I like when they're just like pan fried, not like actually fried. So right. A little bit crisp. I like when the filling is just vegetables and it had a nice little sauce with it. And I, is that, was that saffron on top? It could have been. I'm not sure. I don't know. But it was really good. It was good. I mean, I liked it. I didn't like not like it. Yeah. But, I mean, I like the crisp on the dumpling. That was good. Uh -huh. The sauce was okay for me. I don't know, but like... I would get it again. Okay. I liked it a lot. And well, it was really nice. They gave us three instead of two. Well, I compare everything to like the Impossible Slider with the wasabi sauce. Well, see, that's a, okay, that that's thing, the difference between us because I'm That thing a, is just amazing. I know, but I'm not a big fan of fake meats. So that's not my favorite type of food. I, mean, I, I prefer hear you. regular whole foods. Yes, you know? I'm with you. And I've just always loved dumplings, so... All right. Well, I get it. You like the I'm like putting it up against that, and yeah. that that slider is like phenomenal. So, All right. well, I mean, we just it was good. Taste. Yeah, it's okay. It was good. I liked it. I like the dumplings I just, a lot. I probably just wouldn't get it again. Well, I would. We're gonna check out a little bit of Disney on Broadway. <laughs> seen the trains on the runway at night. That one in the back corner is lighting up. Can't really see, but this is the art of David Doss, which Stacey loves because it's like the Grand Floridian style. Do you recognize this? What is this? Tell me what this is. I feel like it is the mojito tasting on Castaway Key. Yeah, is that right? Bar. Yeah, heads up bar on Castaway Key. Oh yeah, it does say that. Had, yeah, that's where we had the mojito tasting class. It's so fun! Which was amazing. Yeah, I think it was the best uh, tasting class we had. We will link that video down below in the comments. So which one's your favorite? All right, so I just got the rosé flight over here in Germany. I put the card away, but the rosé <laughs> flight's pretty good. Um, this is my favorite. This is like the ale, rosé ale. It's pretty good. And the frozen one's really good too. So these two are my favorite, and this one would be third. I would go one, two, three. So here's the second vegan option. It's the plant-based bratwurst at the Refreshment Outpost in Africa. Serve with spicy turmeric aioli, coffee, barbecue jackfruit, and coleslaw for $9.50. Let's try it. So this is the plant-based 
uh, bratwurst with jackfruit, barbecued jackfruit and slaw on top and it looks pretty amazing. I was talking to the guy and um, I asked him if it was here just for the festival or if it was uh, going to be here all year long and he said it was just for the festival but he said it was really popular and a lot of vegans and vegetarians have ordered it and I asked him if he was vegan or vegetarian. He said no but he said that it was delicious and he really liked it even though he still eats meat but he said it was really flavorful especially the jackfruit so I'm excited to try it. It looks really good. I'm going to spill this everywhere. That's all right. Get into it, girl. <laughs> the sauce is really good. Okay. I like the crunch of the carrots. Slaw. And the slaw. Really good. The bun and the meat. I think it's really good. Okay. I got to tell you the truth. <laughs> okay. While you were in the bathroom, I tasted a little bit of the toppings. <laughs> well, the slaw is delicious. But the jackfruit tasted like coffee to me. Like sometimes they put coffee in chili. So, or like barbecue, like as a, to deepen the flavor, but it was like overwhelming. Like it was kind of bitter. Like coffee? Yeah. It was very bitter to me. It didn't taste like regular barbecue. Okay. I don't taste that. Well, if you taste the barbecue by, its sauce, by itself, maybe you'll notice, but okay. I didn't love the jackfruit by itself, which I was hoping I would. Uh, Try this. This is the jackfruit. Does it taste like barbecue? Not really. No. It tasted like a very bitter coffee to me. Just like a bitter jackfruit. Yeah, but yeah. jackfruit isn't bitter by itself. It's okay. the sauce that's coated it. So I feel like you have to encompass the whole thing. Get the slaw, get the jackfruit, get the yeah. sausage. Don't judge each thing individually. Right. It like, all goes together. Like when you get it all together, it kind of melds together. So I like that. All right. The sausage is good. I just tasted it by itself and it's very flavorful. And I like the that they give you a lot of slaw on top. Yeah. That was a nice presentation too. So when they handed it to us, I was like, wow, that looks good. The slaw made it for me, but the yeah. jackfruit wasn't my favorite part. But the I mean, sausage is really good. The sausage is really good. Yeah. I like it. I'd recommend it. I think just getting both vegan options, I think, are good. Yeah. I wish there was more, but I mean, I'll take two. Hopefully we expand in the future, but it's good for now. This will be my number one for the vegan options at the Festival of the Arts. Wait, where's that supposed to be? It's supposed to be, I think those your eyebrows. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That was a little photo area where you could <laughs> interact with it. And it was a Frito Kahlo picture frame. And Travis had the, it was supposed to be like her eyebrows, but Travis kept putting it at his mustache line. <laughs> All right, got the cider flight. I'm super stoked. One of them was out. So I got to choose another one. And which one do you think I chose? Uh, Your favorite. The blood orange. It's my favorite cider flight. I love it. It's so good. Where are you going, Sace? We saw this when we were off the five. Are you sure? That's awesome. So cool. So we just got back to the hotel room. Stacy, what did you think of the festival? Overall, I thought it was really fun. We had a great night. Yes. Didn't you have fun? I had a great time. Yeah. I love all the festivals. Yeah. Food and wine is my number one. Flower, Flower and Garden is number, number two. One. Okay, it's my number two. And then Festival of the Arts is my number three, but the weather is so great yeah. that it could keep climbing because the weather is so awesome. Yeah, and it so. keeps getting better every year. It does. Like more booths, more art, more just more activities, right. more, yeah. more. So. That chalk art was really cool. It was really cool. That had like cool. the 3D effect where you sat with the shell. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, that was really cool. It was cool. All right, so overall, what did you think of the festival? Overall, the festival was great. The art was awesome. I loved all the interactive things that they had. Uh -huh. The only thing that was lacking a little bit for us was the vegan food options. I know. There's only two. Yeah. So. But I really love the dumplings. Those were delicious. And Travis really loved the bratwurst. Yeah. So, so when, when. At least there was something for both of us we really enjoyed. Absolutely. Um, yeah, we had a great night. So yeah. I just wish there was more food. I really like all of the art showcases that they had with like yeah. Thomas Kincaid and the yeah. other and artists that were there. artists this year. Yeah. yeah like so. at. We're back in the room now. We're tired. I know. <laughs> it's very time gotta for go bed. To, gotta go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you on our next video. Bye, guys. Bye guys.